to the festivities. <laughs> this is Money Flippin' Matt Richards begging to intrude with my celebratory mood. Thanks for coming out on a night that's very special to all of us. It's HQ's return anniversary. Woo! We've been back for a year. It's not tomorrow, it's tonight. It's right now. Yeah, that's when it's happening. One year ago tonight, March 29th, 2020, HQ Trivia returned from a seven week hiatus. Questioning started up once again and it's gone nonstop for a whole year and we owe it all to the support of HQties everywhere. Woo! So tonight, I get a little bit of a break. I still had to clock in, but I get a little bit of a break because honored members of the HQ community will be asking tonight's questions. But that doesn't mean they're gonna be easy. Definitely not. You'll still need your wits about you to answer them all and grab your slice of the $5,000 prize pot. That's right, 5K, a baby baby bear. Or you could even grab a VIP ticket and reach for some extra excitement with a shot at the $1,500 VIP pot, which we'll split up among the winning ticket holders. So long as we sell 100 ticket minimum, but no more than 150 are gonna be sold, so you better act fast. You feel me? Oh, and can you guess what charity we picked out to help us on this auspicious day? None other than our very first charity a year ago, World Central Kitchen, nourishing communities in times of crisis. Started in 2010 by celebrity chef Jose Andres, World Central Kitchen rushes healthy food to disaster areas to accelerate healing and rebuilding, as well as teaching clean cooking and assisting food security in developing areas. Y'all gotta make sure y'all check out Chef Jose Andres on his Instagram, because he be throwing out little uh, recipes that like he likes to make at home, it's crazy. Their pandemic relief efforts alone have provided over 12 million fresh packaged meals in over 400 cities and brought vital revenue to struggling restaurants along the way, all in the belief that food is a powerful tool to heal communities. So HQ is once again making a donation to World Central Kitchen. Here's one of their stars, Anna. Take it away. Hi, this is Anna with the World Central Kitchen team checking in from Dodger Stadium, where we are cooking meals for all of the clinicians and volunteers that are vaccinating folks here. We're also sending meals out into the local community. Over the last year, World Central Kitchen has served over 36 million meals across the US and Spain through our COVID relief efforts. So thank you to the HQ team. Thank you, thank you, thank you for your support. We so appreciate you. Thank you so much, Anna. Woo! I was like, where'd I go? <laughs> oh, you guys can learn more about their terrific work at donate.wck.org. And of course, donations help keep them doing it. Yeah. Real quick, got to remind you that tomorrow is HQ's Hall of Trivia with Jeff Eisenband slinging the sports questions at 8 Eastern, 5 Pacific, one hour before the main game with your boy. And then Wednesday, 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 baby, as always, it's Words Wednesday with Anna Roisman in the building. Be here. You don't want to miss it. Oh, hello to Mara75 in Hawaii. Where you at in Hawaii, Mara? Hmm. You gotta let us know what part of Hawaii you in, girl. All right now, I think it's time to celebrate our full year back in the swing of things. Prepare your brain as always, because this is, after all, another HQ quiz. Even if the question's gonna be read by your peers. Focus, forget the outside world. It doesn't even matter. Hilo, Hawaii. Woo! A year is only a blip on the cosmic timeline, but can mean everything in a human life. So let's see if you've gotten any smarter in the past year, because right now there's nothing to it but to HQ it with question number one, coming to us from Hayden. Q1, who was the 20th president of the United States? Games X Blondie, Flames P. Doonesbury, James A. Garfield. Oh! <laughs> All right, the answer. Do we go back to Hayden for the answer? Or that's me. It's James A. Garfield. 41,827 players got that one right. We've had comical presidents before, but the only one with a comic strip name was James A. Garfield. Yeah. <laughs> Q2 is coming to us from Jeremy. Q2. 
Where is the headquarters of the United Nations? Geneva, New York, Rio de Janeiro. Mm. I have so many questions about that chicken soup, Jeremy. Mainly, where can I get one? All right, did y'all lock in your answers? I hope so. Let's find out what it is. They've got offices all over the world, but the main headquarters is right near Matt in New York. Woo! New York, baby. 34,392 got it right. New York. UN is right here. All right, moving on to Q3. This one's by Tanner. Take it away. Q3. What animal do we get Wiener Schnitzel from? Cow, pig, chicken. That was a nice, uh, nice little, he was very spiffy. Go ahead now. Go ahead, Tanner. All right, did you get it? Let's find out what the answer is. It's been compared to the American chicken fried steak, but it's made of veal from the cow. Schnitzel, Wiener Schnitzel, 14,448 players got that right. That's a savage question! Oh, I was really hoping Eugene was gonna pop out. <laughs> All right, how great would that have been? I wanna get a Eugene. Speaking of, speaking of the goat, question number four comes to us from my brother from another mother, the one and only, Eugene! Q4, which of these game systems famously has the worst tasting games? Nintendo Switch, PlayStation 4, Xbox 360. <laughs> I love his energy, man. It just makes, it makes me so happy. Love you, Eugene. Give my love to the family. And your wife that's always annoyed by my loudness. All right, Eugene, tell us what the answer is. To head off the choking hazard, a bigger taste in chemical is put on all Nintendo Switch games. Ah! <laughs> I want to know who's tasting Nintendo Switch games. 16,600 players got that one right, though. That's crazy! <laughs> all right, for Q5, we're going to Lynette. Take it away. Hi, Ace Cuties. Here's Q5. Which of these is part of a fraction? Obulus, Tildy, or Vendulum? Ooh. What's it gonna be? Thank you so much, Lynette. Y'all about to take my job. Stop it. Stop reading these questions so good. All right. <laughs> Tell us the answer. You have the numerator, the, the dom denominator, and the little bar separating them is called the Vendulum. Ooh, the Vinculum. See, we learning and earning at the same time, babies. 15,716 players got it right. Vinculum. All right, question number six. And it goes a little something like this. It's going to be read by Mariana. Question six. Which of these words is not a portmanteau? Bay, friendly, or hangry? All right. Looking for the one that's <laughs> Did you answer it? Okay. Take it away, Mariana. We're going to read for the answer. A college prank with a thousand plastic flamingos 
led to them becoming the official city bird of Madison, Wisconsin. Wisconsin! Savage question! Woo! The audio is a little wonky right now. Give me two seconds! We're all back. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Can you see me? Okay. Just had to make sure everything was, we were trying to fix something real quick. Question number eight is coming to us by Nicole. In the original game of Clue, a secret passage links the kitchen to what other room? Conservatory, lounge, study. Right, in the original game of Clue, a secret passage links the kitchen to what other room? Well, I uh, don't think it's the conservatory or the lounge, so if you pick study, ain't that right? Ain't that right, Nicole? Did I get if you've played enough Clue to know this, then you've moved a few times from the kitchen to the study. Sounds like a study to me! The study, buddies! Yeah. 8,196 players got that one right. The study. All right. For Q9, Jason. Q9. What is not an ingredient in Ben and Jerry's for Monster Sunday? Is it cookies, walnuts, or cherry? One that's not an advertised ingredient in Ben and Jerry's Vermonster Sunday. Take it away! <laughs> with 20 scoops, it's not your average Sunday. Certainly not the kind with a cherry on top. Cherry babies! You know cherry listed. Yeah, 8,112 of you got it right. The cherry. We got three more questions. So let's keep it rocking and rolling. Adam is here with question number 10. Q10. The temperature where material loses its magnetic properties is named for a scientist born where? France, Poland, or the UK? What's this one going to be? Hmm. All right, Adam, you want to help us out here? Temperature is called the Curie point or Curie temperature, and it is named for Pierre Curie, who married a Pole but was a lifelong Frenchman. France is your answer. Viva la France! Ho ho! Oh my gosh! That's another savage question. Oh, oh, oh. 370 players got that one right. Woo! Adam's question with the insane savagery. Q11, coming to us from Johnny. Take it away. In the days of UHF TV, Channel 37 was usually what? Commercial free, news, or static? Hmm, what's it gonna be? What is it going to be? All righty, Johnny. Hook us up. It was so close to a band used by radio astronomers, you'd be very lucky to find anything on channel 37. I froze! <laughs> 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 
1,974 players got it right. Static, babies. There we go. I'm back. Back in the moving. All right, finally, we're moving on to question 12. Here's the big one for all the marbles to cap on an amazing year. And here to read this final question is none other than Ava. Ava, take it away. Question 12. Which of these nations has the most islands that are inhabited? Is it Kiribati, the Maldives, or Micronesia? Ava killing it. She got the nails matching the dress. You better go ahead, girl. Go ahead now, Ava. <laughs> All righty. Woo! Take it away with the answer, girl. Islands with people are in the low dozens, unless you're talking about the over 200 islands of the Maldives. The Maldives! Pew, 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 pew. We have 970 winners of HQ Trivia, baby! Let's go to work! Shout out to Lop BYW and Tamesa SC and Rose Mia and Russell 158, David 1309, It's Real Mo, IFVJ, Glenn Witt, Ira Hall, DLS 151, Albert 321, Suna, Ryan Wilson, Lub, <laughs> Lub DSV, and Sayak. And Franklin Eddy, yeah, <laughs> that was y'all. You did it! Great job by all the winners and an extra special thanks to the fans. Not only the ones who read out the questions, but also the rest of you who supported us this past year and made it possible to keep doing HQ. We owe it all to you, babies. Remember, there's two great games tomorrow. Hall of Trivia with Jeff Eisenband one hour before the main game, followed by the main game with your boy, so you don't want to miss it. And then on Wednesday, it'll be Anna Roisman with another 12 HQ Words puzzles right there for you. Mm. That charity, again, is our old friends at World Central Kitchen, using the healing power of food to help and transform communities around the world. They're at donate.wck.org, and they're a very good place to do some charitable giving. So look them up and hook them up. I'm Matt Richards, and once again, all of us at HQ are so grateful to all of you who came out to be a part of the game throughout the past year. It makes all that we do worthwhile, and we're excited to keep on doing it in the year ahead. So I'll see you soon, baby!